Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Small Land. In the last video, we built this nice, new, fantastic treehouse up here. We're kind of on top of one of the great trees down by the beach, and it's nice, man. We've got all of our storage inside, all of our crafting tables are inside. Some of these were outside at our last base because it was so small. All of our cooking stuff is out there. It's not too bad, man. So here's the thing, right? We've got two people we have not seen yet. There's our tree right there, just for reference. The south beach is here. This person we haven't talked to, and this person up here we haven't talked to. One of those two gives us the wingsuit that allows us to kind of jump off of here and glide down. Probably make getting around a little bit easier and stuff like that. So I want to head out and try to talk to them today. We'll go to this one for sure, and then if we can, we'll head up there and talk to that one. Now I was wanting to do some taming today. However, it's... I'd rather get the two sets of armor kind of out of the way. We should get a set from each one of them. Yeah, it's a kind of a look from the outside of the house, man. Very, very happy with it. Kind of weird in the back. <laughs> I do like it, though. At least it's not a normal, typical house that I build. So let's head down here. Try to do a little bit of farming along the way. There are a couple things that we need. Let's go down to the root level. So we are needing some more of the seeds. We're running really, really low on those from making all of the refined woods. We went through a ton of them making those storage. And it turns out that even though it's wintertime, there are still all of the plants and stuff out here. So it doesn't really lock you out of doing your farming for your stuff. But I did change something. So, as you know, <laughs> whenever we come down here, there is a ton of stuff always coming for us. I turned on peaceful mode. If you don't know what that is, it makes it to where there's still creatures in the world, but they ignore you as long as you don't hit them, right? So where are we going before I start talking and forget? We need to go to the left more. So I went ahead and enabled that just because whenever I come down here to grab stuff, even off camera, it's, uh, it's annoying to kill 20 or 30 different creatures just to harvest a little bit of wood or fiber. So, they're still down here. We still gotta fight them, right? It's not like fully safe, it's just kind of safe-ish. Because we still need the parts, right? So whenever we go up there and start attacking them, they'll kind of come for us. Now, I don't know if that means that there's two beetles here. If we attack one beetle, if both will come, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll do some experimenting on that later. What time of day is it? Oh, it's almost nighttime. I should have brought some garlic with us. So that we could build a lean-to. Eat a little bit of a snack here. Now, there are some foods and stuff I definitely want to cook up. There's one that's specific for the cold weather, and it kind of sucks. I was going to build one of those for us for this video, but we're out of the roach meat. That's the main thing you need. You can get those from the beetles down on the beach. I I had some, but I ate it. I ate it by itself. I was kind of out of food. That's whenever we started building up there, and it turned to winter time before I expected it to, and was out of food. Should be straight down here. So, we'll try to grab some of those if we can along the way. I'm not exactly sure where this person is, but seeing the direction we're going, we're kind of going down towards the beach. See, I did farming all along here for the bark and stuff, for when we did our build. So, I wonder if I saw this, this place we're going to, and just didn't recognize it. Never know, man. If we have time, though, I do want to head to the other one and try to get that one knocked out. Then we can do some taming in the next video. We still got to visit the spider, too. That's... It's terrifying. Looks fantastic. Slightly terrifying. Yeah, I bet I did see this from down below. Or at least saw the area, right? Dude, it's getting nighttime very, very fast. Hopefully we can find this person and see what kind of armor we got. That's her there. There's an owl. I'll tell you what, I want to see what's over here real quick. The snowstorm coming. It's not a good thing. Oh, just another, another entrance. The butterflies. I don't know if we can ride those. Be kind of cool though if we could. Absolutely. Oh, I was gonna say nothing in there. There's a grasshopper. Okay, well. Save it for later. Can we get damaged by the spikes? We can't. That's a good thing. Some creatures can be tamed using special treats. Yes, we are well aware. Be careful though. They will only accept treats once they recognize you as their leader. So make sure to beat them into submission first. Okay, so that's whenever we gotta damage them so much before we can feed them. Once tamed, a creature will be a faithful companion. Some will follow you and protect you. Some will even allow you to mount them. You can heal a tamed creature with food. Drop the food close to your companion, and it'll eat it to heal itself. Interesting, so... I know a lot of stuff, right? A lot of our foods, it says, can be fed to a tame. Or can heal cre creature, okay. Interesting, some say that it can be fed to a... It has different wording on some of it. I wonder if those are the ones for taming. And this just means we can throw it out there. Now I'm sure that an ant won't eat an ant skewer. <laughs> the grasshopper, I highly doubt, will eat the grasshopper legs. We'll, we'll do some testing and playing around with that later. That's going to be kind of weird if the grasshoppers will eat the grasshoppers. What have we got going on in here? How do I get a bed like this? 
looks awesome compared to ours. I mean, it's made out of a fork. It looks like, right? Kind of neat. What else you got in here? All kind of the same stuff. That's a neat table. It'd be nice to have stuff like this to put in our base, just for decorations. Oh, wait. Is that a bed? What is that? If that's her bed up here. I don't know. Interesting. Anyways, what have you got? You're a hunter by trade and a former vanguard, okay? I've been sent to investigate reports of trouble with some of the creatures in the area. I don't know about that. Ludwig mentioned he would send someone. What do you need? We got the armor. And have you had any troubles lately? Ah, dude. Let's check this one first and we'll look at the armor. You could say that. I was out hunting near the overturned boat whenever I was attacked by an enraged rhino beetle. We have not seen that yet. It's a dangerous threat that needs to be dealt with before it kills someone. Uh, I'll take care of it. <laughs> it's the only option, man. I didn't sign up for this. I would advise you to be cautious and well prepared before facing it. Should you be able to defeat it, bring me its horns for examination. This will allow me to understand its origins. I wonder if we get something for doing that as well. So look, I was just coming here for some armor. Now we got a mission to kill a rhino beetle. Fantastic. Alright, so we got... Ooh, some primal armor. It's great uh, cold resistance. Okay, okay, okay. So that's got the cold protection of nine. Holy crap, dude, just for one piece is nine. Protection is two. It's got some blunt resistant, and then movement speed slows down. Same with this. And that, what do we need? We need bones? Oh, that's the hides from the, the lizards down on the beach. And then some insect fur. I think we get that from the, not the wasp, but the bees. And then, I like how they got two different sets, right? So this one seems like a more mobile set. This one's like more of a tank set. So this is for durability and protection. It's cumbersome and hard to move in. Yes, yeah, so it's like heavy armor and light armor. I like that, man. I like it. It kind of gives you a choice, right? Some people like light armor. I usually do myself, light or medium, and it's kind of like the heavy stuff. So that's going to be a little bit easier, I think, than this. Well, I mean, the bones and the hide you get both from the lizards, so that's not too bad. We'll probably go ahead and get a set of this. I mean, we'll do both sets eventually, but for this, we need, what, two, six, eight. We need ten of the leather. I think we have two back of base. So we do have the flint sword. And that's good to be used on the lizards. We haven't really done anything down there since we made them. So, that'd be some good testing for that. And we should have enough of the chitin. That's going to be 8, 16, ooh, 16, 32. Oh, man, that's a lot. That's going to be 40 on the chitin. We should have that, though. That's like a stack and a part. We'll double check. That's going to be it, right? And then just some insect for 3, 6, 9. We might need that for the beetle. I'm going to totally forget all those numbers. So... Yes, yeah, so that's all the stuff we unlocked. There's the rhino beetle. How did I miss that, dude? I didn't go all the way out here. Oh, you know what? There's a place up there. I wonder if that spawns on top where I said it looked like a nest. I don't know if you remember. Quite a few videos ago. All right, let's start heading back towards... Let's not go to base yet. Let's go down on the beach. Not for the beetle. Let's get some parts. We'll come back up here. Talk to her. Get the armor. And then we'll go fight the beetle. Let's get the chitin armor first. Just because that's probably better for... Keeping us alive. Now we need to go all the way over here. I think is where it drops down. Alright, give me a few minutes. I will see you on the beach. A little bit of a berry there. We can't just jump off. It'd be nice. See if we had that glider suit? We could glide right down there. Oh, dude, it would be so nice, man. I wonder if we should go and talk to the other person first. See what kind of armor they have? Let's just do this one. Let's do this one first. <laughs> we'll try to fight the rhino beetle. And then we can go down and get the other armor. I'm not on the beach yet, but dude, this honey crumble? Those are little spawn node points. I thought we only got this from the bees. That might be a lot easier to get. Are you an ostrich? You got your head in the ground? You can't see nobody, nobody can see you? I know the feeling, man. I do the same thing. Don't worry, it's all good. But I wonder if... I wonder if it'll be easier to get these now, since we don't need to worry about... I totally forgot to pick them up. Don't have to worry about killing the bees all the time? That'd be kind of nice. That's like right by... Right up there's where our base is. That's where it goes up. And then the elevator's on the other side. So she's actually easier to get to from this way. Interesting. Now I'm lost about where we go down to... 
the ramp. It's right back here. Totally passed it, man. Totally passed it. I was gonna say we'll wait and see what happens with the bees, but we need to we need to get some of the stuff from them, right? I mean, one of the problems is they used to come for you. Now you gotta kinda try to find them. But we need the fur. I didn't know there was gonna be bees down here. I thought all the bees were up top. There we go, there we go. You're next. I need some of your fur, please. And thank you. I appreciate your donations. Some more of the crumble too. I got quite a bit from up there, man. We've got twelve just from that. So we got six of those. Don't remember how many we needed. <laughs> it happens, man. It happens. I told you I was going to forget. So I got turned around. I'm not exactly sure if something changed. But I couldn't find the way to get down to the beach. This is what I was looking for. Where are we at? I missed it somehow. Took a wrong turn whenever I left her place. It's all good, though. It's all good. That is the guy we need for... Do we have a hammer? We do. For getting the roach meat. And that'll give us some of the cold food. Yep, let's snake around a little bit, dude. Probably just grab a couple of them. I ate that raw last time. It was horrible, man, but that's the only thing that I had, right? And that guy will give us a ton of chitin. Let's go ahead. We might as well. Let's heal up a little bit. We should definitely make some of those potions here soon, too. Let's eat one more of the bandages. There we go. Are we going to do one big attack? And then a lot of the little ones, because we have problems with doing a lot of the big ones whenever they move. It's just like a waste of stamina and everything else. Let's see how much chitin we get from this. Only three. Interesting. I thought we would have got more as big as that dude is. Where is the lizards? I know there's a couple down here, because they usually terrorize me while I'm down here farming for the bark and the flints. And we got quite a bit of that. I'm not going to grab any from down here. And I don't see any more of the bark. Maybe it hasn't had time for the lizard to respawn. Is that the rhino beetle? Oh, dude, we are not fighting him yet. I mean, we could try. We could try. I would rather get the other armor. I mean, we could smack him once. Let's hit him one time. I think this whole area changed, man. Because this wasn't here before. I've been down here farming. It's kind of cool if it's dynamic. Oh, dude, that guy's huge, man. Look. <laughs> this is the part where you're passive. Until I hit you, right? Alright. We'll try that a little bit. Oh, he's got a big stump! We're gonna die! Oh, we are gonna die? Look! <laughs> Junior! I am sorry! I don't know what that is. Is that the... The arrows? Is he is he weak to arrows? He's fast! Oh, he's very fast! Look. We're not ready for this. We're not ready for this! I'm sorry! Can we do this again later? Can I say I'm sorry and we stop this? Don't, don't kill me, please. Please, man. I would appreciate it, and thank you. Okay, let's run out of the way. We're fine. I mean, we're, <laughs> we're far. We're far from fine. Is he going to stop following me? I don't think so. I don't have my bow and arrow. I don't have my spear. All right, let's put the spear up there. Let's put the bow up there. I wonder if he's going to reset. If not, we'll smack him with an arrow. I can't see. We're too far away. I, it landed right behind him. Yeah, right over him. There we go. Oh, it did reset. Well, not really. Okay. We need to be mobile, I think. Save our stamina for the rolls. Okay, we can't roll out of the way. That's the thing. Once you're down here, you, you, you can't run from them. Oh, don't, do not do that. Do not do that. Look, dude, we are gonna so die here. Okay, we're gone. We're gone. Look, <laughs> we need we need the other armor, dude. Give me a second, please. We're gonna die. We died. I knew it. So, that is a rhino beetle. Let's grab some stuff while we're here. Might as well. We are gonna need thirty. We got enough of that. We got six of those. We've got one. <laughs> we got one of those. No, we do got some of the leather. Wait. Oh, the hide turns into leather. Okay. So we got five of those. Don't remember how many we needed, but it's more than that. All right. I'm going to go down. Tell you what, let's sleep. Let's sleep, man. It is very, very cold out. 
I do not like being out whenever it's cold. We'll grab our stuff. At least it'll be somewhat safe to grab it because we're not going to worry about him attacking us. And then we'll go ahead and farm up some of the lizards and get our get our hides, man. I'll stop by and talk to her real quick, too, and see how much we needed for everything. Can you please call it back up here? Yep. Don't ask why, man. Don't ask why, okay? Just bring it up. Just bring up the lift! Nice sunrise. <laughs> oh, dude. I knew it was going to be painful. Alright, so it turns out all that we need is 10 of the hides. We've got everything else pretty much that we need. And I was looking at the map a little bit. We're not where I thought it was. So I was thinking this was over here. So over here is the way that I usually come down. This is where the lizards all are. I haven't been all the way over here. I got kind of that little one mixed up with the uh, the big river. It happens, dude. It happens. Let's uh, <laughs> let's grab our stuff, man. We will smack the beetle around once we get the armor. So yeah, that's not too bad that all we need is some more of the hides. Where is our gravestone? Did we die down here? I thought we were up further. Oh, there it is. Is the beetle still over here? He is. That's a big boy. Boy, I'll tell you what. All right. Take all this stuff. So, let's eat a little bit of food. I am going to run over to where the lizards are. Now, there is that cave, too, right? There should be a couple in there. And I can't remember if it's a one-to-one -one ratio whenever we convert the leather to the hides. So, I might grab enough to get a two-to-one ratio, just in case I'm wrong. I don't want to have to run all the way back down here. And then we'll make that and then head back. We should be able to get the armor. And I'm hoping, really, really hoping, that is going to be enough... Where is a hammer? Hoping that's going to be enough to take out that beetle. That thing is tough, man. Holy crap, is that thing tough? Yep, I know, dude. I know. I'm sorry. It's only going to hurt for a minute. Slight headache, man. Slight headache. Just want a little bit of the roach meat. <laughs> there we go. Ah, uh, dude. Please do not drown. It's a very small puddle. All right, so here's one of the lizards here. So we haven't killed them with the knife. I think that's a little bit better. We don't really have a way to, uh, to block, man. We need a shield, dude. We really need a shield. Oh, we should get some treats for taming this guy, too. So that'll be some of the bones we need for the other armor. Oh, we got two out of that. Well, that's not too bad. We are very, very shy on the bandages. That has me worried. Might have to kill some off with range, which isn't that big of a deal. I think we had... I don't know how many, man. I should have paid attention how many of the hides that we had total. But we're good on the insect fur. Yep. Sneak attack damage. Oh, there we go. Man, that might be the way to go, too. I know the the knife does better on the damage, but if we can kill it at range, seems how we're kind of short on the, the bandages, that might work out. Are we out of range by backing up? I think so. It's not doing very much. Only 16 damage per hit. Okay, let's do this. Speed things up a little bit. That does so much more. So much more, dude. We get two hides. Just one on that one. Ah, we got lucky on the other one. Try to get our sneak bonus damage. Look, I cannot hit a moving target. That went way high. Nice, man. Nice. So that, that sneak attack did the same damage as a normal just sword hit. And these are the good arrows, too. They're not the cheap ones. These are the flint ones. Okay, we're out of stamina. Yep, that's a thing. Totally missed. Look, let's not talk about that one, okay? It happens. It happens sometimes. Right in the eyeball. That should have done extra damage. Wait, do you have a aggro range like that, too? I've been playing Valheim in my off time, and there's so much more arrow drop in that game versus this one. I'm going to be losing arrows a lot in both, it seems. He's down half. Hey, look, if he wants to run halfway through a battle and get scared, scared little lizard. I'm totally fine with that. Yep, sneak attack. All right, finish it off with the sword. If, if I can hit him. One. Ah, oh, we got really, really lucky on that first one. Alright, this is our last bandage. So there is some more over there. It's just we have to cross that... 
That river, man. That's a thing. I don't think there's a way across like this. You know what? I'm gonna head up the base. It is right there. I'm gonna make up some more. Oh, wait, there's another one. Uh, dude, I was gonna make up some more bandages and stuff. Let's, ah, uh, let's try it. Very high. Gotcha. No sneak attack. Okay, big attack. I don't know if it's gonna be worth it to do those. Ah, see, it's so hard to aim. Let's just get up in here. Get up in here, take them out. We're gonna die, we're gonna die. I'll get more bandages, it's fine if we do. Okay, we got him, we got him. It's good, it's good. <laughs> Alright, dude, I'm gonna head up to base. We'll see how much we get from these versus how much we got. We got five here. Not too bad. I think we have four or so. We need ten altogether. We'll see. Regardless, we need bandages, and then we need to get over to that side. We should take a look, too, while we're up here and see what we need for the potions. Maybe we'll take some of those down with us for the beetle fight. We could definitely use them for sure. All right, close the door. First things first, let's visit you. And that is one to one, right? That is. So it's not too bad at all. So we got five total. I don't have anything for you. Where is everything at? So that's enough of those. We've got 40 of those. Let's take nine. Put you back. So there's the 40. There's that. Where is, we got five of these. We need 10 total. Oh, we got just enough. Oh, that is fantastic, dude. All right, tell you what. Let me get inventory sorted out. I need to put everything where it goes. We got this nice new inventory system. I do not want to mess it up just because we're rushing. And while we're here, what do we need for some of the foods? That's the cold protection one right there. We got enough stuff. Let's make one. That's going to give us 50 on the nourishment. And then it blocks the loss for 360 seconds. 50 cold protection, which is fantastic. And it can heal a creature. We are not feeding that to a creature. <laughs> that is super... Super expensive for that. And that is that. While we got this stuff on us, let's take a look here. We want the regular health elixir. So we need some seed oil, petals, and nectar. Not a problem. We have all that stuff. Let's put these back first. And you as well. Where are my seeds? Everything is getting messed up. There's a very big bug with storage, like I didn't put this here. Everything's getting really mi mixed up, and I lost some seeds somewhere. I had 12 that went missing. It's like if you try to grab stuff normally out of storage, it will change out randomly what, <laughs> what you actually put in there. It's super weird. All right, petals and nectar. Those are both out here. We'll make a couple, man. We'll make a couple. Not you. Here we go. Some of you. And some of you. Plenty of those. We only got five of these seeds, which kind of sucks, but is what it is. Oh, we need seed oil. I mean, we can do that too. That's not a problem. So those are going to heal us for 20 over three seconds. So we got four of those. It's two of the... Oh, we got more nectar. Let's grab two more nectar. Take as many as we can. I thought it was a one, one to one on all those. So that nectar, if you didn't know, you get it from the poppies. There's a lot of those right down below our tree here. All right, so that's good there. We needed some of the regular bandages to heal up in between as well. We're gonna take two stacks. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna make all of them, dude. Now there is another one of these, right? But it uses some other stuff. The healing patch. We've got the honey crumble. We're gonna make some. No reason having that stuff and not using it. We are definitely Gonna use some now. Let's change you two around. Seems how that stuff kind of grows on the ground. That'll be very, very nice for healing, right? We got 25. So what's the difference in those two now? So for this one, that's gonna be three a second for 10 seconds. That's for uh, 20 seconds. Same thing, just it heals for longer. So it's a longer heal over time. So we'll go ahead and make some of these. We'll start using these instead, I think. Oh, we got a ton of it, dude. 
We'll take, uh, we'll take two stacks, man. Might as well keep us stocked up while we got it. Keep us alive, healing in between the fights. Nice, man, nice. All right, put you there, put you up there. Let's empty our storage, and we are heading back down. We should have enough stuff to grab all of our armor. So we got the honey crumble. What was there? See, now we're missing some chitin. Alright, dude, let me find out what's going on with our stuff here. It's it's gonna be in one of these storage containers. It's, uh, it's something they really need to fix here soon because it is annoying moving something from storage and then all of a sudden it's back in there. It's kind of weird. Super weird. And kind of sketchy. Slightly frustrating. Dude, I just noticed it's springtime. Interesting. Just like that, it changed. Huh. It's kind of nice. The snow is gone. So, what I did is I went ahead and got some more foods made up. I made some of the omelets because I didn't realize we were out of our ant skewers. It's the last one that we had then on our hot bar. I'm kind of lost now. I know what it looked like whenever it snow out. I think it's just right down here. Really, really hoping that we got enough stuff. I probably should have jumped because I got to use our bandages. But I'm hoping that we got enough of these stuff. Is everything still here? It is. We should be good. Oh, man, I really hope so, dude. Really hope so. I'm hoping that this is going to help us, too, with that beetle. I don't remember exactly what kind of damage we should be doing for it. I think it said that it was the... Well, I don't know. The hammer is what we use on the other beetles. Kind of like the crack the shell and stuff. So we'll have to see. We're not going to be using the bone arrow. It's definitely, uh, definitely not worth it. And that was flint arrows, too, that I got in my inventory. Alright, she should be right here. How you doing? Nice day of spring, I'm just saying. Alright, so there is the... Helmet. And that. And that. And that. Oh, fantastic. Our new set of armor, man. Wait, what do you have here for... Oh, you can just go right to it and bypass that. I did not realize that. There's a, uh, yeah, thing for talking or crafting. I like it, man. I like it. Put on our new armor, see what it looks like. Ah, that is fantastic, man. I kind of like it. It's not too bad. I like the, <laughs> the little antlers on the top, dude. So where does it tell our armor rating and stuff, right? It should be somewhere, doesn't it? Maybe not? I thought there was somewhere that did. Doesn't matter. It's fine. It's fine. Let's head down. Try to smack this beetle around one more time. We'll see what happens. We might need to get some... I mean, you would think the armor from her would work, right? Seems how she gave us the task. So right here it is. Kind of fall down on the roots instead of trying to walk all the way around. I'll definitely need to harvest up some more of the parts, right? From the bees, we need some more of the fur. And then our chitin's kind of low too. That's fine, I can do all that off camera. Let's go this way. Where's the boats? Dude, it looks so different down here, man. Did he change colors? I thought it was like a green color last time. Maybe I'm wrong. I, <laughs> I could be going nuts. I thought he was a different color. What do we need to use for your damage type? I don't know what that is. Something with piercing, right? So that would be the spear. You would think. All right, man, let's try this again. So eight is our healing potion. We haven't really used that yet. And then we got our bandages. All right, man, let's try this. Yep, we got the first hits. Okay, we can't really block that. We can a little bit. Either I block that, or this armor is fantastic. Yep. Block that. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal up a little bit. Oh, dude! <gasps> he ran right through us! So that was blocking. That took care of a lot of that last time. Okay. Big hit. I totally missed him, I think. Big hit. There we go. Yep. Okay. Let's heal up again. Alright, let's block. <gasps> no! I hit my potion button! Okay. Oh, watch out! Get some hits in. Get some hits in. Those are all big hits, too, that we were doing on him. He ran right into the rock. Don't run, dude! Don't run, man! Come back over here! Fight like the beetle you are! Where'd you go? Junior! Where are you going? Your big attack over there. We are going to use a terrain to our advantage. 
When you're a small person, you have to, man. You have to. Block, block! Okay, we're still doing good. We're still doing good. Okay, we are so out of stamina, dude. We are so out of stamina! Another potion? Okay. We only got three left. We only got two left. He's down to half, though. Not too bad. Not too bad. Alright, we are very, very low on stamina. I want to get some hits in as we can whenever he's... He's not doing anything. It's we're always out of stamina. Got about a third left. Looks like he's running back to his base. It's not going to save you, dude. The boat is not going to protect you. You started this. I mean, I started it, but I'm also going to finish it. Stepping in the butt. There we go. Yep, turn around and face me, man. Use a bandage. We'll wait for him to do an attack, and then we'll do an attack. Or not. Dude, I can't block. He is so slow. One thing I'm not too much of a fan of is how slow the animations are in between changing stuff. It's like a standoff, dude. There he comes. There you go. Let's heal up again. Oh! A double! He got us! It was a double! No, buddy! Look. <laughs> Look. I'm sorry, Junior. You were catching your wind a minute ago, weren't you? I think we need to eat one of the foods for the cold, right? And that's why our health isn't all the way up. Let's do that real quick. Nope, let's not. Where's our food? Where's our food? Eat that! Quick! Quick! That should warm us up some. Let's heal. Let's play this safe, man. Play it safe. We're warming up. Our health's coming back. We're doing fine. Okay. Get ready to block. Fantastic. We need to really watch our stamina, dude. There's a potion for that. We just didn't make it. Big hit. Little hit. That's what it is, man. Once he does that big thing, either do a big hit than a small hit, or two big hits, and then block. But let him attack first, it seems like. You're almost dead, buddy. You're almost dead! We got this! Oh, here he comes, running. Okay. Running again. Okay. Nice, man. Nice! Oh, that was tough, dude. That was tough. The, uh, bandages and stuff definitely help. Rhino horn split. Okay. We need to take that up to her, right? A large and dangerous horn split down the middle. Creating two sharp points. No kidding, man. Ah, oh, dude, fantastic. All right, let's head up, give her that, see what we get in return. Hopefully, it's something good. You know we can get down there just by going down this path right here? <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. I did not realize that. Look, the snow was covering it last time. Not my fault. All right, what do you have for us in return? Not giving it to you for free. I brought you the rhino horn. Yep. You've done it. I recognize this horn. The beetle used to wander the swamps. Is there swamps in this this game? I don't know how it found its way down to the beach, though. Yeah, me either. It attacked me on sight. Well, not really. We're kind of in peaceful mode, but <laughs> nonetheless, we got attacked. This is very unusual. I suggest you visit another person. She might have some insight into the matter, as she's an expert on the creatures of the swamp. Oh, there is a swamp. Map is updated. Before you leave, please accept this recipe as my thanks. What is that? Gecko treat. Oh, I wonder if that's how we can tame them. I found this gecko treat to be very effective in taming or in calming down the geckos on the beach. Once tamed, they can be very loyal companions. Oh, that is fantastic, dude. So that's what we need to do to tame them. Hmm. I wonder if everything has a different recipe for taming. 
I don't know. Interesting. But we do have that, so we have that to do. We gotta go talk to the other person, and we gotta do some stuff with the spiders. Not looking forward to it. Ah, dude, well, not too bad of a day. We got some fantastic armor. I really like the look of the chitin armor. We got a couple more sets from some of the other people we have to visit. I didn't expect to be fighting a huge rhino beetle today. It was pretty cool, man. I like it. Good little fight. Glad we got some of our medical brew and stuff like that kind of sorted out. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you liked our little rhino battle we had today. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.